Linus, a Linus love a Lodiger. The poker community loves stories about mysterious players, who show great results and hide their identities. A clear example of this is True Teller, is older one, Farewell. Today's video is dedicated to the hero, who also remained incognito for some time. You should be familiar with his nickname, Al Linus L. Love. Today we will tell you his story. Linus Lodiger was born and raised in Switzerland. He is one of those players who prefer to stay in the shadow and not disclose personal information, so very little is known about him. Even the year of his birth can be said only approximately, either 1995 or 1994. Linus began playing poker at 18, after graduation. As the player himself said, he had an internship at work, but six months later he left it and decided to become a professional player. Nick Alinus Alof appeared when the player studied at school, his classmate called him that. And as for the avatar, he put his favorite Pokemon. By the way, he still loves this series of video games and sometimes even plays it. The first time Linus drew the attention of the poker community to himself in March 2013, writing on one of the most popular poker forums in the world about the start of the marathon. Hey readers, I'm 19 years old living in Switzerland and been playing poker for a few months and I've read few books and tons of threads on this farm. I first started playing on 888 poker, but I've always had some tilting problems and bankroll management problems, so to help that I'm gonna start a challenge where I update graphs hands and other stuff. I do this challenge for me, so I stay in my bankroll management and so I can review some hands in this thread. With this new challenge I switched to a new site, PokerStars, and I'm starting at NL10 6 Max with a 15 buy-in bankroll management. My goal is to get to 100 NL by the end of the year 2013. My star's name is Alinus Love, by the way. First goal to achieve is to get to NL16 with a bankroll of 240 bucks. Current bankroll 150 bucks. I'll try to play every day for 3 4 hours straight and to update graphs and hands 4 5 times a week. In this place, we usually tell how cool the player is and how he began to win a lot, moving from limit to limit, but Alanis Love's career was a little different. After a month and a half, from the start of his challenge, he managed to build a bankroll of 306 bucks playing not only at cash tables, but also in tournaments. But a couple of days after a major loss, he returned to the beginning. Worst day ever. Minus 200 bucks just today. Got colored so hard. Kings vs Aces three times. Not bold vs straight flush and ran $75 below EV today. What a bad session. Although I also only played with B game, but still cooler. Bankroll back to 160 bucks. Back to 10 NL grinding. Let's go, let's go! After this message, Linus disappeared until 2016. Though at that time he no longer had to write something at farms, because people were already talking about him. What did Lodiger do in the interval from the failure of the marathon to his start playing the NL 10,000? We learned that in 2015, Linus did an internship at the company where he worked. Yes, really, Linus Love still worked at a regular company in 2015, but he soon decided to quit his job, started playing on tables 25-50 bucks. The player just bought a ticket one way, took a laptop with him and left for Malta. There he attended his first live events and even cashed twice. In 2016, Linus won 80,000 at the United Kingdom and Ireland Pocket Tour. Commenting on this, he stated that he simply visited his poker friends in London and combined business with pleasure. In live events, 2019 was particularly successful for him. Lodiger participating in the Triton Poker Series, cashed in tournaments three times and even won one of the events. The year is not over yet, but his profit is already reaching 1.8 million. As for online, the transition to high stakes occurred in 2016. Then Linus just as by magic trick began to understand the game better. At least, that is how he answers this question to reporters. Perhaps our hero simply does not want to reveal his secrets, but it is worth nothing that his battles with OTB, Red Baron, True Teller and H. Hecklin were really wonderful. By the way, the Swiss won three of the largest pots in his career in the hands against True Teller. 
In total, Allah Nasalov has played nearly 600,000 hands in his career and won over 2.7 million at high stakes at Poker Stars. Allah Nasalov is a vivid example of how a player was able to break through to high stakes and earn millions while struggling before that for three years at micro and low stakes. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and give it a like. It was card made for you.